All right, y'all. So I'm about to just throw some on the grill real quick. And let me show y'all how simple my seasonings are. All you need is just a little oil. I love to put a little oil on my chicken, my meat, when I put them on the grill, just to give it that nice, you know, crispy skin. I'm going to add my Southern City Girl seasonings on the chicken, you know, the salt and black pepper. And then we're going to just put these babies on the grill. So I want... All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get on into these meats. I, I done made a makeshift thing to record with, so forgive me. But we just going to do a little bit of oil. I normally like to use a little olive oil, a little grapeseed oil. But we got vegetable oil today. But too much oil, actually, to just waste it. But it's okay. And you just want to massage your meats with this oil. Size the meat. Massage them on up with the oil. Just some fresh ribs right here, baby. Or at least fresh from the grocery store, okay? But sometimes you be getting meats from the grocery store. They don't look that good, okay? But these look all right. Then I got some chicken wings over here. I'm just going to massage these as well. Let me push this out the way so y'all can see a little bit better. Or is this better? This might be better. Because I think you can see both pans. But just massage that chicken on up with that oil. Chicken and ribs. Who we think we are, okay? We blessed. That's what we are. Hallelujah. No. Um, so we just gonna massage the meats up. And I know somebody gonna be like, oh, cross contamination, blah, 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 blah. Baby, it's all going on the same grill, okay? It's going on the same grill. Get my hand a little rinse. Grab me a piece of paper towel. No, it's going on the same grill. So we're gonna start off with our salt and black pepper. Salt and black pepper. Okay, that's the Southern City Girl, by the way. Salt and black pepper. Then we're gonna do a little bit of the no salt seasoning salt. This stuff is real potent. It's like our version of Larry's, but without the salt. And we don't need salt because we just added the salt and black pepper. So then we're gonna do a little bit of Virgie's lemon pepper. Just a little bit of this. The lemon just, to me, it cuts like that gamey taste from the meat. Even though the meat ain't really that gamey because, you know, it's coming from the grocery store. But it cuts down on that like meat taste. Sometimes I've been noticing that the chicken has been having like a weird taste. Um, but anyway, we're going to go in with the, the garden garlic. A.K.A. garlic and herbs. Now this, I like to go in heavy with this. My family can't stand me. I love garlic. And this also has um, fennel. It has thyme. It got parsley, of course. Um, it's a lot of good stuff in this seasoning. And the one good thing about this seasoning is you can also use this as a topper. I love to put this on top of my... Um, on my macaroni and cheese too. I put it in it and on top because it has that um those those herbs in there. So instead of you know putting that fake parsley on there, you actually put some seasoning on that baby. So then you just go ahead and massage your chicken. Now normally I am a heavy seasoner, but since this is going on a grill, what we have learned time and time again when you grill stuff, a lot of the times the seasoning just come right on off the chicken. So ain't no point in wasting our time. And wasting our resources putting a whole bunch of seasoning on there you just need enough to add some flavor and that's it so as you can see chicken looks bomb so i'm gonna move these because i don't need to do nothing else to this i might add a little bit more as i go along but as of right now no now this is what's going to need to get some more seasoning and that's fine These going to need to be seasoning. You got to find a lighter fluid. Oh, Lord. Damn. I do not want to go get no damn lighter fluid, y'all. Shit, we're going to make up. We're going to make something. What else is this? Some hairspray. Ain't that flammable? No, I'm joking. Don't do that at home, y'all. <laughs> 
but um but i could have sworn the chalk already had lighter fluid on it so i'm gonna go and look when i'm done with this but um i'm just gonna add a little bit more seasonings of course i just washed my hands y'all heard it just add a little bit more salt and black pepper not too much i don't like a lot of salt in my food now and that's why i created this blend because if you feel like you're using too much pepper that means you're definitely using too much salt it's a perfect blend okay they made to balance each other out. It's called a dynamic duo, all right? Same thing with the seasoning salt. We're going to go back on this a little bit, just a little bit more, just a little bit more. This has like celery in it. It has, um, child, I got to check my damn self. It has like mustard, some other spices, paprika, some good paprika too, baby. That pepper, that pepper cost me a lot of money to put in them seasonings. I can't stand when people complain about the price, honey. That's how I know people don't be cooking. So I be like, oh, y'all get the store brand everything, huh? You know, some things you could get store brand on, some things you can't. That's why y'all be going through the Walmart salt, um, the Walmart salt and black peppers and the, the Walmart garlic and onion and all that. Y'all go through that so fast because it's not quality. It has no taste. That's why, baby. You ever wonder why every time you gotta go to the grocery store, you gotta get some onion powder, onion powder, garlic powder? That's why, baby. That is why you always have to, okay? Because you're not getting quality stuff. Now you get some quality stuff, it's gonna last you a little while. Like this. You don't need to buy too much of this all the time, you know? A little goes a long way, baby. My family loves when I have like little cookouts and stuff because I always bring my seasoning. And for some reason, I know I never use all my seasoning, but I can never find it at the end. I'm like, what the hell? All the seasoning, damn. Like, where all it go? Like, child, they be snatching it up. When they see it, they snatch it up. It's so good. But those are the ribs. And we're just going to cover everything. And then I will see y'all outside, I think. It's a beautiful day, okay? We got some, um, I was in the midst of gardening. And I said, you know what? Let me throw something on the grill. Got the Southern City Girl seasonings, y'all know. Everywhere I go, they go, okay? My great-grandmother just threw something right here. I don't know. What the hell we doing today? Oh, Jesus, I almost fell. Um, but yes, this is the little grill. Oh, child. This is a cute little grill. So, um, Dyna Glow. Alright, whatever. Alright, y'all. So, we outside with the grill. We about to light it up. Um, how do y'all start y'all grills? Sometimes we put, like, a piece of newspaper, something in there. How do y'all start y'all grills? I want to know. Um, oh no, honey, it's a spider. Jesus, we gotta wash that off real quick. Um, but yeah, and do y'all do the aluminum foil or do y'all put it directly on the grill? I was taught years ago to just do the aluminum foil method, but I noticed a lot of my family like to just put it straight on the grill. I don't know how y'all like to do it. And also, if y'all know any YouTubers, barbecue YouTubers. Tag um tag them down below. Um, I want to watch their YouTube channel. I want to really learn how to barbecue. That's one thing I have not mastered in the kitchen is barbecuing. So let me know. So we out here. Pick the rack up. Oh, she got. She got. Um, I forgot what she got. What this is called? It's like lighter fluid wood. Ooh, so these bees are huge out here. This the wood I'm talking about that she got. So yeah, look at that bee. Do y'all see how huge that bee is? Like it's massive. Like where's your hive? Are you a honeybee? I don't think they're honeybees. Cause I think honeybees are cuter. I don't know, but yeah. You guys, my great grandmother is hilarious. 
Let's see. She went and lit it on the stove. She didn't even give me a chance to try and do it myself, y'all. Give me help. Give me that. Jesus. She didn't even give me a chance to get to do it myself. I guess she said she ain't had time for my shit, y'all. You're burning that out. She didn't have time for my shit, y'all. She did not have time at all. Be careful, Nana. Lord. And by the way, you guys, this is my great grandmother. Still alive and kicking, okay? <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm gonna smell like a whole pack of, I don't know what, smell like a burning building. <clears throat> and before anybody say anything about the heat, the heat does not bother her at all. This lady been cooking since I don't know how long. She'll be 90 years old in October, I wanna say. So she's been cooking since she was like eight. This heat does not bother her. So y'all, I honestly think I successfully lit the grill, but she sent me to go get lighter fluid anyway, just in case. So that's what I'm about to go do. All right, y'all. So we're on our way to Family Dollar. <laughs> so I went to Family Dollar. I picked these up for later. She throwing lighter fluid on it now. I got some lighter fluid. I seen these and it was like two seventy five, so I got it. I thought that this was cute. Smoke barbecue wood chips for family's island. And then last, oh, I got this for my um, barbecue sauce. And then I got this. Yeah, I know. So I added some of the wood chips in there with the lighter fluid. <laughs> All right, she did a lot, a lot of fluid. But it's okay. Got it now, right? Yep, I got it now. Thanks. Oh, this could be a fire as real. Hold on. Mark my words, I am going to be a grill master by the end of this summer, okay? Tree little birds. So this is what the chicken is looking like. This with that Southern City Girl seasoning, child. I told y'all, stop playing. All right, y'all, so we got the ribs. This the grill. She right there. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my rib. Look at that seasoning, y'all. I'm gonna lay it right on down. I think this should be more than enough on a grill for now. Or should I put the chicken on, y'all? What y'all think? Well, it's gonna cook slow. So yeah, I'm gonna add the chicken on right now. All right, y'all, so this is the chicken. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the chicken down. Smelling good already, y'all. I promise you it is. Lay that chicken on down. All right. Smell real good. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Okay. Seems like it's still cooking, which is good. So now I'm about to just flip over the chicken. All 
with y'all. Look at how the meat is looking now. Real delicious. I'm going to get me a knife and I'm going to actually start cutting into these ribs to separate them. But the chicken pretty much is done. So I'm going to let it cook for about 10 more minutes. But while I'm doing that, I'm going to show y'all how to make my barbecue sauce. So how I make my barbecue sauce is real simple. This is that type of barbecue sauce that everybody's like, oh my God, where you get this sauce from? And I'll be like, I made it. <laughs> but in reality, you just take a barbecue sauce, whatever barbecue sauce you like. I like to get whatever's on sale because I always fix up my barbecue sauce. Anyway, I always add stuff in it to make it my own. That's just me. You could do whatever you choose to do. But um, what I like to do is just basically add all my seasonings in here. Not too much, though, but just enough. I like to make it, honestly, while I'm prepping my food is when I like to make the barbecue sauce because I like the seasonings to marinate. But um, today I have time because I was doing a gardening. I was doing a garden and everything. But, yeah. Now I'm going to do it. Just add in all your seasonings. I gotta be careful because this breeze is kicking up just a little bit like that and then my favorite of course you know the garlic y'all look at my, my pole toes I went to my pedicure appointment the girl canceled my appointment by accident gave an appointment to somebody else child anyway and you just mix it on in. I like to sometimes add vinegar, a little apple cider vinegar at that. A little apple cider vinegar, but I'm not home, so I can't do that today. Um, add a little extra um, brown sugar. You know, I'll be hooking it up. Adding honey. Make it your own. You can use whatever barbecue sauce. You can use store brand, whatever. I just get whatever barbecue sauce. Sometimes if I'm in the teriyaki mood, then I get the teriyaki barbecue sauce. Then I still add my own seasonings. Maybe add some sweet chili sauce or something. You know, this is just what I do. And this is why my food always comes out good. Because I go the extra mile. I don't just squeeze from the bottle onto the plate. Okay? But of course, I'm going to make some more because this ain't going to be enough. But I just wanted to show y'all that. All right. So, the chicken is pretty much done, as you can see. So, we just going to add some sauce on that. And just let some of the sauce cook on it. I'm not going to add too much because sauce tend to burn on a grill. Or at least in my experience, it tends to burn. So, I don't like to add too much. Cause I ain't got time for it to be burning on me. But yeah, that chicken is tender, sweetie. Oh yes. I'm gonna put it on the back of the ribs too. Just a little bit. I like the thinning sauce out too. That's why I add vinegar. Cause the vinegar helped in it out but like i said i ain't had no vinegar today but it's fine and just brush it a little bit just to create like a little layer of barbecue sauce at least you know what i mean so as you can see Ooh, child. This smells so good. All right. Hit the size a little bit. But I think everything is pretty much done. I can't stand the overcooked food. So like I said, I'm going to go get the knife and cut this on up. But I'm going to just let these sit for a few seconds. And I'm going to flip them over. And then do the other side of the chicken all right y'all so i didn't get to show y'all the finished product i lather that baby with some a lot of barbecue sauce oh baby so good so good so damn good